man, it's great to be back here this year. This is my fifth time at We Day, my second time as Prime Minister, and I can tell you, it gets better every time. Quel plaisir énorme de vous voir ici aujourd'hui, rassemblés en si grand nombre, motivés, engagés, enthousiastes, hâte de faire une différence dans l'avenir. Ça, ça, ça me rend tellement, pas juste heureux de vous voir, mais confiant pour notre ami à venir. You know, and a number of you have probably heard me say this before, but I think it matters that we remind ourselves that whenever you hear, you know, teachers or important speakers who come to tell you that you're all the leaders of tomorrow, I want you to shake your heads at them. I don't want you to let anyone tell you that you are leaders of tomorrow. Because right now, right here, you're showing that you are leaders of today. What you do makes a difference. How you engage with your community, with your family, with your neighbors. How you talk with your friends about getting involved and making a better world. How you take a role uh, and think about the future you want to be part of building. That matters. Everything you do, everything you say is leadership right now. And it's leadership that we need. It, Et le leadership, c'est un défi des fois. Il faut avoir du courage, il faut savoir pousser ce qu'on croit. Il faut savoir convaincre les autres. Il faut démontrer une capacité d'être engagé de façon positive, même quand d'autres le sont moins. C'est tellement important que l'énergie que vous allez recevoir ici aujourd'hui, the energy you get today, you need to bring that forward into the world. You need to keep it up throughout the year. You need to shape every day the world that you're part of. Now, one thing that I've heard a lot from uh, folks over the years is that uh, young people uh, can be disconnected uh, or apathetic about the world or apathetic about politics and I know that that's not true. I know that you care deeply about shaping the world and I know that a number of you probably stayed up a little later last night to watch some of the election returns uh, with your families and I know that some of you might have had questions of your parents this morning. Uh, so I want to take a minute to chat with you a little bit about that. First of all, the relationship between Canada and the United States is based on shared values and shared hopes and dreams, and we will always work well together. We are strong because we listen to each other and we respect each other. And the fact is we've heard clearly from Canadians and from Americans that people want a fair shot at success. People want to succeed. People want to know that themselves, that their families, that their kids, that their grandkids will be able to succeed. And we need to work together to get that. We share a purpose, our two countries, where we want to build places where the middle class and those working hard to join it have a chance. We need governments focused on service and that's what we're going to keep doing. We're going to keep working uh, with people right around the world. We're going to work with our neighbors and I'm going to work with President-elect Trump's administration uh, as we move forward in a positive way for not just Canadians and Americans but the whole world. Nous entendons des Canadiens et des Américains des deux côtés de la frontière qui veulent juste une chance réelle et équitable de réussir pour, leur, pour eux, pour leurs enfants, pour leurs petits-enfants. Nous partageons les mêmes objectifs. Nous partageons de ce désir de bâtir des pays où la classe moyenne et ceux qui travaillent fort pour en faire partie vont avoir une vraie chance de réussir. Et nous avons besoin d'avoir des gouvernements 
qui écoutent et qui répondent à, à ses inquiétudes et à ses espoirs. Alors nous allons travailler fort, nous allons travailler fort ensemble et je vais travailler avec l'administration du président élu Trump et euh, avec euh, tous les partenaires autour du monde euh, pour s'assurer qu'on est en train de bâtir le monde meilleur que vous méritez. But I know we have a big day today. You guys are going to hear from a whole range of amazing people uh, like Headley, uh, like Serena Ryder, like my friend Gord Downey, uh, like a huge number of amazing people. But one in particular I want to highlight. Now, I wasn't always the best at listening to her when I was your age. But I really want you to listen to my mom. Uh, she's an amazing woman who's done incredible things, who's lived uh, 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 a life filled with uh, extraordinary events, achievements, and challenges. And I, she inspires me every single day. And I want uh, you to hear what she has to say, because she's an amazing person. And she did a pretty good job raising her kids, I think, too. Um, but the work she's doing around mental health, Uh, around making sure that we talk openly and challenge ourselves uh, to be better about supporting our friends, our family members facing issues and challenges around mental health and how as a society we do better. I'm not going to steal her whole story, uh, but I just really want to say to you that mental health is something that we all need to talk about more. But today you're going to hear from a huge range of people who will be challenging you to think differently, think better, and mostly step up and be involved. Because together, we will change this world. Merci.